morning, everyone. Happy Mishmas. We're on day 16. Let's hit these advent calendars. All right, so I've got the coffee advent calendar here. Here is day 16. So excited. We've got Colombian Hippo. Small holders throughout Colombia. Let's see, it's very dark. I like very dark. Hazelnut, smoky, and dark caramel are the notes. So there is the description of the coffee. Ooh, very exciting. Let me go ahead and start steeping this and we'll hit the Jo Malone calendar. All right, here is Jo Malone. Let's look for 16. I don't see it up here. And, oh, here it is. Here's 16. Ooh, we've got another bar of soap. I'm still using the other one that I got. Aw, oh, and it's lime, basil, and mandarin. Oh, smells divine oh so exciting and it's in the shape of a star oh isn't that so nice all right so that is jo malone day 16 and then here is diptyque let's see where is oh 16 is right up here and what have we got Ooh, violet. I love violets. Oh, this smells incredible. These smell like the Guerlain meteorites. How did I not know that they had this candle? Ooh, this is great. Oh my God, just like the pomander, I feel like I'm gonna go on a hunt for uh, a larger size of these already. I haven't even set this one on fire, mm, but it's really, really beautiful. Oh, wow, okay. That was 16 for Diptyque. I am really gonna miss these calendars. They should have like monthly calendars like this, not just for December and for the holidays. They should, they should sell like subscription boxes like this where they just put a variety of things in there. Hmm. I think that's a wonderful idea. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right, ready to plunge my coffee. And Poor Christmas bear getting anointed <laughs> with this black coffee. All right, I can already tell that this is a very dark coffee. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like very dark. Mmm. Ooh, it's very bitter. You have to really love coffee. That is very, very bitter. I've already forgotten the notes. Let's see, <laughs> 16. Uh, hazelnut, smoky, dark caramel. Very, very smoky. Very smoky. I feel like I taste a bit of the hazelnut too. I definitely, definitely do not taste the dark caramel. Maybe that'll come out if I add milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some milk. All right, milk has been added. Very smoky. I would say that that is like the prominent note in here. Ooh, it's delicious though, delicious. I do really like a dark roast. I feel like I really like that kind of like a bitter bite of coffee. So I just got this lovely package from Victoria Beckham Beauty. Um, I actually placed an order on their site because they were having a 25, no 20, excuse me, a 20% off sale. And I was like, oh my God, I don't have the new lid lusters. I don't have the new eyeliners, which I love. So I went on and I couldn't get the sea gray eyeliner. I think that was sold out. So I placed an order for the two lid lusters and the cocoa eyeliner. That's another one I didn't have and placed that order. And then this arrived the next day. And I was like, there's no way that cannot be my order. It's like way too fast, um, but it's a very similar order because it has the two lid lusters. So they sent me mirror and chiffon, and then they did send me the sea gray eyeliner, which I'm so excited about. Um, and then they sent me the uh, moody posh lipstick and that's so exciting. So when my order comes in with the two lid lusters, I am going to include those in a giveaway. I don't know when those are gonna come in, I actually have no idea if those are even gonna arrive during Mishmas because shipping has been so, so delayed. I think I told you, was it the candles? Yeah, my candles video. I think I mentioned that I had ordered something from Spanx uh, over Black Friday. So I ordered it, I don't know, on like the 26th, 26, 25th, 20, November, around there, around Black Friday. Um, it still hasn't arrived, <laughs> it's still not here. So anyway, um, I hope to include these into one of my Mishmas giveaways, but if not, I'll do another giveaway when they do arrive. Anyway, so that's what I would like to do. Let's go ahead and head on over to my filming area, my office, and 
we will start playing around with these new goodies from Victoria Beckham. So exciting. All right, so we are gonna start with the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer from Victoria Beckham. I love this primer. Uh, this is in the shade Golden. I ran out of like the original version, which just had like some faint golden sparkles in there. This one actually has like a little bit of a golden, if you will, golden tinge to it. So I already have all of my skincare down, moisturizer, sunscreen, all the steps before that, oil, serum, blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is just an additional layer of moisture, which I don't mind, I have very dry skin. So um, I really like it and it's, it's light enough. I don't feel like I'm just like piling more and more stuff on. It's, it's light and it doesn't feel like super tacky. And if you give it some time, it will actually like absorb into your skin. So Victoria Beckham does not have any other like base products other than this. If you want to even consider this a base product, it's more like skincare. But I'm sitting here trying to decide whether or not I want to apply some concealer maybe, maybe a little, yeah, I'm going to apply some concealer. So I've got my Dior Forever Skin Correct uh, concealer in shade 2N. I'm just going to put some under my eyes and just on these sunspots. And I'm just going to dab with my finger to blend in. Just a little brightening there. Um, so next, let's use one of her bronzers. So I have two shades. I have 01, that's this guy, and then I have 02, which is just a touch deeper, and this is the one that I tend to go for. Um, in 01, I don't mind this shade right here, but this one, it's just a little, it's a little pale, it doesn't, yeah, it just wouldn't work on my skin tone. So I'm gonna use uh, shade number two, and I'm gonna use my Sonia G uh, Sculpt One brush, and I feel like I feel like this is gonna be deep enough, the lighter side. So I'm gonna start there, and just lightly dust under my cheekbones. Always looks a little scary right at first, but I have to blend it out still. Maybe apply some over here. And I'm just picking up a little bit more and just slightly dusting it my high points where I would actually get a tan. And down my neck. There, so just a little bit of color, a little bit of contour, nothing too major. Um, and now for blush, I'm gonna go in with one of her Cheeky Posh blush sticks. So I've used Roller Skate for you guys. This is like the brightest, punchiest color in her line. Um, so let's see, maybe I'll use mini skirt. This one is more neutral. And then which other one did I pull out? Knickers. This one I think is a little bit too light for me. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, mini skirt and I'm just going to use my finger and just dab. Ooh, so pretty. Just gives my cheeks like heat. Okay, so that is mini skirt. Why can't I remember names? My memory is just shot these days. It's a really beautiful, it's a pretty neutral tone. It's kind of, you know, it looks a little bit warm and kind of brownish in the tube, but when I get it on my cheeks, I feel like it just looks like red. Like it really is just giving my cheeks heat. Next for highlight, she does not have, she being Victoria Beckham, does not have highlight in her line, I don't believe, right? Yeah, she does not have a highlight. So I think I'm gonna leave that out because this has uh, by itself like kind of a juicy appearance. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. Um, she also does not have eyebrow products. I don't think she has eyebrow products either. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly fill in my brows with my Tom Ford Brow Sculptor. And now let's play with these new eye products. So I have Mirror and Chiffon in the Lid Lusters. Those are the two new shades. So here is Mirror. And I just love these Lid Lusters. So this one is like the silvery tone. Let me do a quick swatch. Oh, wow. Oh, well, Mirror is a very accurate name for this. 
Ooh, that's gorgeous. And I just like lightly dipped my finger in there. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then next is chiffon. Here is chiffon, which is like a dream color <laughs> of mine. It looks like a taupe with a little bit of peach in there. Ooh, oh, so pretty. This is like the young hip party sister to the Westman Atelier Tabac color. Yeah, this one isn't quite as um, like deep as that one. Not that that one's deep, but this one is like lighter and brighter and much shinier than the Tabac from Westman Atelier. Can I use both? Uh, let me take a look at this eyeliner. Let's see what's going on here. So this is the C Gray eyeliner. Oh, wow. That is like a gunmetal eyeliner with silvery bits in there. Okay, I think I'm gonna try, try and apply both lid lusters because I can't decide. I think they're both really, really incredible. So I think what I'm gonna do is put the chiffon all over and then kind of see where we may wanna add like a lot more shimmer, maybe like inner corner, maybe out here, um, and then add the eyeliner. So let's start playing. All right, so I'm grabbing my Isum W23 brush. This is that flat shader brush made of sable hair, which is really great for these kind of uh, shimmery shades. So I'm just uh, kind of going back and forth over the top of this to pick up the product. And this may be one of those products that's better applied with a finger, but I just really don't like using my finger. I'll do it, it's not a big deal, but I just never feel like I'm getting it exactly where I want. So I'm gonna try with this brush first. Oh, that's really beautiful, look at that. Oh, and this brush is like perfect for this uh, formula. Is that not stunning? Just all over the lid. Ooh. And when it comes to these lid lusters, they are, um, I don't know, chunky I don't think is the right word. I think it's just the formula. It's just a little bit loose. And so if you don't want a ton of fallout, what you want to do is kind of smear the product in. So I'm just kind of like pressing the brush down and just really smearing it across. I'm not going back and forth. I feel like that will cause a lot of um, fallout. And I feel like if you just kind of pat it on, it's not like you really need to like smear it in, <laughs> really get it on that lid. And I do end up with a little bit of fallout. It's definitely not fallout proof, but a lot less, I think, than kind of uh, treating it like a normal eyeshadow, like a normal powder eyeshadow. Gorgeous, okay. I don't even know where we can squeeze in that silver now, but let's try. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let me try adding this to like the outer corner. I need a smaller brush though. I'm going to grab uh, same brush, it's just smaller. This is the W21 versus the W23 I was just using. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this mirror, same action, I'm kind of just wiggling it across the top here. And then I'm gonna smear it, the outer corner here. And just see how that looks. Yeah, I feel like the shade is deeper than the chiffon. It's just really, really bright. So once like the light catches it, it actually looks a little bit lighter, if that makes sense. Okay, I think that added a little bit of dimension. It kind of framed out my eyes nicely. Awesome, I wasn't sure if you'd be able to kind of see the difference between the two shades other than like a slight tonal change. But I think this mirror shade ends up looking a little bit deeper once you apply it than it does like in the pot or even when you do a swatch because it's so, so shiny. But I think the base of it is kind of deep. You know, you can see like, the depth of the color there. So exciting, but because it is coming off a little bit deeper, I'm not gonna put it in my inner corners. I'm just gonna leave this as is. I think we've got a lot <laughs> of shimmer going on. Um, so let's move over to this Sea Gray Satin Kajal Liner. I think I got more fallout from that mirror shade than I did the chiffon. After the chiffon, I don't feel like I had that much, but now I feel like I'm seeing a lot more fallout here, so that one's a little bit chunkier. That one, in the future, I may wanna use my finger. I feel like the finger would kind of adhere it to my lid a little bit better. Anyway, uh, I'm going to tight line and water line with this first. So it's applied to this eye 
but not this eye. I really like this shade because I feel like it's giving me the depth that I like in my uh, tight line area. And then when I waterline with it, you can see like the silvery sparkles in it. Like it looks lighter in my waterline. All right, I think that's enough eyeliner. I wasn't sure if I wanted to add some actually below my lower lashes here, but I think that's enough. Um, it's not like I wanna do like a smoked out lower lash line since my upper lid is so kind of like shiny and ethereal. Uh, so I'm just gonna move over to mascara. And I do have her Future Lash Mascara, which I do enjoy. It is a tubing mascara. So when you remove it at night, you're gonna get like little pieces of the mascara come off. I didn't realize it was a tubing mascara. And when I went to remove it the first time I wore it, I was like, what is going on? I thought it was like my lashes. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a tubing mascara. So very, very awesome. They're a lot of fun. Some people don't like them. So I feel like I, I should tell you that, but I don't mind a tubing mascara. I think it's fun to remove. So anyway, let me go ahead and curl my lashes. All right. And if I remember correctly, this wand is very petite. Yes, it's very small and it has a slight curve to it. And if you're like myself and you don't like a really bold, lash look. Um, I think you would like this mascara. It just is a light touch. It just enhances my lashes, my natural lashes. It doesn't make me look like I'm wearing like false lashes. It's nothing like that. It's just a really nice um, accent to your natural lashes. And I really like that. So I'm just gonna put on a second coat and that's it. That's like the perfect amount of lash for me. In terms of keeping my curl, I wouldn't say it's as good as like the Wayne Goss um, or the Surat Beauty Noir Lash Tint. Those really keep my curl. This one is, it's okay, it's decent, um, but I just like kind of like the natural flutteriness that it gives my lashes. Like I like the look that it gives. Okay, so they also sent this Posh lipstick over. I love this formula too. It's such a creamy moisturizing uh, formula. And they sent the shade Moody. Oh, it's like berry shade. Oh, how pretty. I feel, I thought for some reason, I thought this was just like a very deep red shade. Ooh, this is fun. Let me go ahead and apply this. Wow. These posh lipsticks have a surprising amount of pigment in them because, because of the way they're shaped and the way they look and just um, the way they feel. You just think that it's gonna be kind of like this lightly tinted balm situation, but they're actually pigmented pretty much like a lipstick. And that my favorite lip liner that goes with uh, deep berry tones like this is the Esim lip liner. It is a duo, so it comes with like a like wonderful nude shade at one end, and then it has this plum shade, and it's just it's so perfect for these lip colors. So I'm just gonna clean up like my bottom lip a little bit with this lip liner. Wow. What a dramatic lip. I was not like mentally prepared for that. I really thought it was just kind of like a holiday red color. All right, so those are all of the newer Victoria Beckham products. And I was able to squeeze in some of my older favorites like her blush stick, um, the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer, uh, her mascara. I really hope, Victoria, if you're listening, I really hope in 2022 uh, that you come out with a highlighter um, and brow products. I think that would be awesome. All right, so that is it for this Mishmas video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Okay, baby, you ready for your advent calendar? Day 16? All right, let's see. Where is 16? Oh, it's down here. And oh. <laughs> It's your lumps of coal again. Oh, poor baby. Okay, baby. Okay, Butters, sit. Good girl. Good girl.